Good morning, boys and girls. Repeat after me. Sit on my bottom. Sit on my bottom. Hands in my lap. Hands in my lap. No talking. No talking. You guys came in beautifully. I am so proud of this class. Now, we're going to find the penguin, and the penguin's name is Gigi. And it's already up on your computer, but in case it's not, I have to um, click on her. And when you do this in your classroom, you're going to click on her, and you're going to do special pictures to get into your games. But you're not going to do that in here today. All you're going to do is practice or test drive. So that means I need to enter in my password and I've already done that on most of the computers and then you guys are going to take a test drive. Do your parents ever go shopping for a car and they try it out and they drive it first? Yeah. That's a test drive. See right here. And we see little cones on our test drive. And the cones are what we're going to be clicking on right here. There's green cones that tell you the different fun activities you're going to do and the black cones are what you're going to click on and the first one you're going to do has like a blue mark a dark or, or more of a periwinkle blue and these are turquoise or light blue and then you see purple see all these games and with their colors so the first one you're going to click on everybody point to this black cone with the white triangular arrow on it now it says here, how would you like to test drive? As a student would play or with open access? You want the top one. Everybody point to the top one. And it says student. Can you kind of read that? Yeah. All right, now we're in. And here's Gigi. And you have to help Gigi find her way on paths. You know what paths are? You know, like a path you see around the, uh, the grass. You, that, that's a path or the black top that you're not supposed to run on here that's a path there's different paths that you walk on so she's gonna walk into here and it looks like she's in a cold and foggy place and now we're gonna click on her again and you're gonna see several steps so here's step one Whee! there she goes up 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 and it's gonna teach you how to click on the mouse and remember we have a mouse in our computer lab. Now, our mice in this lab don't have a left and right because these are Mac computers. But this still teaches you to always click on the left just so that you learn. So everybody point to Gigi and click with your finger just like the picture shows you. Yay, there she goes. Do it again. Now look down here, boys and girls. Every time it goes ding, you're going to see a percentage. Right now, what number is that? Oh my goodness, we got to get all the way to 100. So I better start clicking. There, 33. What is it? 50. Yes. 60. 66. 83. 83. <gasps> Yay, for 100. Watch Gigi. Oh, level 2. Click on that. Everybody point. Click on 2. Yay. Oh, this is the erasing game. You've got to erase real fast. What number are we on in the bottom? You can tell me what number it is. Every time it dings, you tell me what it is. What is it? No, it's 33. Now what is it? 50%. Say that. 66. See this little right there? That says percent. 83%. I'm just moving my mouse. That's what I'm doing. I'm just moving it. <gasps> what happened? So what's going to happen now? She got another flag. Oh, she goes to another level. Here we go. Everybody put your hand there. Oh, 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 guess what? Now look. See, when I move my mouse, it's not doing anything. So what do you think I need to do? What is the picture telling you? Click. And click here or anywhere, and it'll move the mouse. All of a sudden, now she's ready to go. Oh, where are we now? It's not going to move. What do I need to do? No, press. You need to click well, it. I need to click it. Thank you. Now I can erase. What number am I on? Oh, I heard somebody say percent. Woohoo! Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Seventy-one. 
Oh, good. Most of you are able to read your numbers, which is fantastic. Oh, it's not a hundred yet. Now it is. What's gonna happen? What's gonna? Exactly. You are very observant. All right, I gotta click and erase again. You have to click. It kind of wants you to, I think, follow that eraser, but it's still doing it even if I don't follow it. This is a good way to wake up your computer. Sometimes I have kids say, my computer is dark, it won't wake up. Well, all you have to do is wiggle your mouse just like we're wiggling right here, and that will wake your computer up for sure when you first get on it. We're almost ready to go to the next level, boys and girls. Five. 85%. Very good. Oh, now here's the trick. Once we get to the fourth level, she's done. She's done with all those levels. When you're done with all those levels, boys and girls, now some kids will click here, but all that does is take you back. That's all it does. So we're going to go to the red arrow. Everybody point to the red arrow. Red arrow. Again, pretend you're clicking on it. Click on it again. Oh, yay. Now we're back to the green cones. And we already did the first cone. Remember, it was that periwinkle blue. Now we're going to go to the turquoise blue. And we're going to go over here. Everybody point to the black cone with the white triangle arrow. And where do we click here? Top or bottom? Top. Top. All right, boys and girls. Now what are we going to do? Tell me. Tell me what we do. You open the door. Right. We kind of go to the door by clicking on it. And then here she is again. It says, Bill Gigi. You're going to get to know Gigi the penguin. And here's our first level. Come on, Gigi. Jump. Yay. Okay. Here's the last thing I want to tell you. Remember we talked about the red arrows to get back to the menu? Yeah. Now what if it's time to go? Your teacher's here and the bell rang and we need to go. And you're like, but I'm in the middle of a game. So we go to this arrow. Can you guys point? Look how it's not red, but if I put my, my cursor or my pointer on it, look how it turns red. Yeah. We click on that. Oh, another red arrow. Click on it. Click on it. Click on it. Mm -hmm. Yay, we're back to the menu. And you're going to leave it like this for the next class. Can you remember that? And just in case you finish getting to know Gigi, where are you going to go next? To this one. It says focus building. So you go from top to bottom. Everybody put your hand up way above your head and say top, top to, bottom. to bottom. Again, top, top to bottom. bottom. That means you go in order. You don't skip around. You go to the first one on top, then the one under that, then the one under that, then the one under that. You guys did an excellent job listening. Now, when it's time to go and you have your menu like this, what are you going to do after that? You have to leave. Um, you, you press the red arrow. But, okay, let's pretend you already pressed the red arrow and you're here and it's time to go. What do you do? Stand behind your chair. What? Stand behind Can you say that just a little louder? Your chair. You stand in front of your chair, yes. And you remember, you if you have headphones, put them up. Push in your chair and do not stand on your chair. I've seen several children do that. That is a no-no. And also, if you don't have headphones, keep your volume down. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. On your keyboard, you're going to see these keys. Now, they're on the top, way up here. See that? See that arrow? And then you've got these little speakers. Well, here's how they look really big. Say F11, F12. 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 Now, the one with a lot of lines, like a rainbow, that's making your sound loud if you can't hear it. But if it's too loud, I need you to do F11. Do you understand how to make it quieter? These are speakers, and you need to turn your computers down if they're too loud. So what I'd like you to do now is walk slowly and quietly to your computers, no running, and get started with Gigi.